Well, hello, it's Michelle from Michelle's Ink and Stamp It. And today I am going to show you my B size um, Genevieve uh, basically amazing printable template um, album that I made. I followed along with her video, and she uses the uh, mine's I my. <laughs> <laughs> my mind's eye gingham garden paper pack um, I got mine at it's all about the scrapbook and I love it <laughs> I have also used several of Genevieve's um, shades of color her um, background designs her photo the photo mats um, the basically amazing photo mats so I will show you all of that Okay, so this is my cover. Um, I made it just the way she did. Uh, I did not use the clear acetate, so I just made my album like a regular album. These, This is a pretty large album. It is um, about 10 and a quarter by seven and a half, and um, it's, it's chunky. So this is my spine. And I love how my spine turned out. It is, um, it's hard to see that way, so let me turn it this way. She does a Franken page in her journal that she made to go inside here. Um, and I liked it so much that I wanted to, I, well, I've always wanted to do a Franken page anyway, but I decided to go ahead and do my spine in the um, Franken page style. So I just uh, printed up her um, the spine that she has that goes with this book and I just started gluing down my paper on top of it and then when I got it the way I liked it I put washi tape all over it and then anything that stuck out from the template I cut off. <laughs> was pretty simple really. So um, Here's the back of the book, and um, I use the My Mind's Eye um, ephemera pack that they have. Um, this book is going to go to my daughter, so she wanted it. Um, so I'm going to give her the rest of the pack of the ephemera that I didn't use. I'll give her all the washi tape that I didn't use. Um, I have some cards left from um, the kit and also um, some enamel dots. So I will give all this to her and she can either give it all back to me when she's done putting her photos in and um, I could, you know, cutesy it up some more or she's perfectly capable of doing that. So here is the front cover. And um, Genevieve had us make this little book, and it has a it has the templates in it to, and they're clear. I just use sandwich bags to put these in, but um, they're clear templates. So when you have your photo mat, you can put it over your photo. It's kind of hard to see it on here, but you can um, you can kind of tell it's there. So I have the corners mitered. On, each, on all the four corners. And so you just lay this down over your photo and you trace around it. And this way, this one will fit on the three by four photos. And then um, this one here will fit on the uh, four by six photos. So it does the same thing. So I just put some washi tape on there. Here you can see it right on there. When you put it over the top, it'll fit right on um, the photo mats. So you don't have to worry about how to cut them out. So I just have this with a cute little, with the, uh, um, Oh, I can't remember what you call them. They're like curtain pins. Um, let me 
Yeah, I know I was going to have a hard time doing that. <laughs> it goes in all most of the time all right. Um, but I, I made them pretty tight because I wanted it to hold it in without wiggling around. So on this side, I cut out one of the journaling cards that came with the kit and glued down on the side. These are more journaling cards that come with the kit so you can do different things. And then um, this is one of the photo mats. So here's a pocket. I'll move this over a little bit so you can see it all. There we go. Um, this is a pocket that holds more photo mats. You can also put photo mats this way on there. And then uh, these are, this opens up, there's a little envelope that you can pull out. It has little journaling pieces on it. And then this too will hold, you can put photo mats on here, or you can just put your pictures down however you want to do it. And then these are large photo mats where you can put um, photo mats on here, or just your pictures. You can put more on the back side. So both of these are, they're like really large tags. And she wanted to put her own photos in where she wanted them, so I kind of left everything pretty plain so that she could um, add the photos as she wished. And then I'm going to just print up a bunch of photo mats for her. So here is a two-page layout that you can use on both sides. And this has what she calls the peekaboo pocket. So um, it's just a photo mat with the... Uh, clear acetate in it and then this is a pocket or a tag um, part of her vintage pastels uh, that's the new one of the neutral colors this is one of the background colors that are on there this was um, I printed this up in grayscale it was a yellow or a gold color and I just pinch printed it in a grayscale to go in there. And then this was one of the journaling cards that I just backed with um, some coffee dye paper and put on a on cardstock. Um, this is one of the printables. Every day at 11:45, I do a Cricut uh, Go Live class, and I showed everyone how to make um, print and cut flowers. And I've been using them throughout. Um, the journal or my book here and um, so that's one of them and then on the back side uh, we put a little belly band on here and then a little pocket here and this is an envelope um, we fold it all up use the um, uh, wax seal on it the rose and another tag here and you can see the front of the envelope just slit in the side here so that a tag would fit in there and then this is one of the um, papers uh, one of Genevieve's backgrounds I just did it in a, uh, it was a black and white I should have done it in a grayscale but <laughs> it's okay Got to have a little variety in there, right? Just bent that corner up. So there's that, and then the envelope will fit in there. And it all gets held in. So this is a pocket where you could add more photos or little uh, journal things, whatever, whatever you want to, you know, little bits and pieces of what you want to add in there. This is... Um, Another one of the print and cuts that I did was some coffee dye paper that I had made and um, used my Cricut to cut it out. I used a, um, a scallop circle and uh, elongated it to make an oval out of it and then made a smaller one 
and did um, a print and cut with that. So you just slide your photo behind there and you have a spot. This is all held together with magnets. Here's another little um, envelope inside or some little journaling things. And then um, again, I did the print and cut, cut out the heart. Uh, she used a um, embossing folder on here, but I didn't have an embossing folder, so I just used my Cricut and did a print and cut that kind of looked like it was embossed. I did cut the hearts out. This is one of the journaling cards that comes with the paper. These are print and cuts that I made with my Cricut. So this has the exact same thing on it. It just has the opposite direction. These are these are both the print and cuts. This is some coffee dye paper that I made. Um, another journaling card from the packet. And then this opens up. And these are envelopes that are part of, of Genevieve's <coughs> excuse me, templates. So I've magnetized the um, oops, this one has an opening on the top. Um, so, journaling place with this. And this, we took her patchwork and printed it over the top of one of the um, papers from uh, Gingham Gardens. And uh, I like the way that turned out. This is one of the papers from the uh, 6x8 paper pack. And then this is just a 4x6 journaling card. And they're all held together with magnets, so the whole thing stays together. Then this is magnetized to this. So another 4x6 area here. This is a little tuck spot for some more tags. You can still add a photo to it. Um, I printed her some of her background papers on um, the back side. This is uh, one of the papers from the 6x8 pack. And then this is more photo mats. And here is um, an envelope. <clears throat> um, so she has this template in her, in the basically amazing um, printable templates. It has this whole thing on it. This is one of her background papers. I did print and cut on here on the Cricut. This is one of, um, from her in vintage envelopes and tags. And then I used some of the washi tape. This is one of the little pieces, stickers that came in the planner part um, that I bought with my mind's eye. Uh, another journaling page. You can tell there's tons of room for lots of photos here. I'm going to scoot this over this way for this. Um, here we've slit this, uh, the top to this. It opens up, so it has a slit in it and uh, made some uh, um, tags. Another little envelope, one of the Tim Holtz mini clips and uh, more of her pastel, vintage pastel backgrounds. This was a print and cut off the Cricut and they just all tucked back up in there. Kind of a cute idea, just a little something different. So then this opens up. Maybe over this way a little bit, there. <clears throat> and then this is more uh, photo area, another pocket area, coffee dyed paper. This is her shades of background color, one of her colors. Um, some I printed some of the photo mats on top of the um, paper. Used some washi tape that I had. I think this is a Tim Holtz washi tape with the alphabets or some with the numbers. This is one of the backgrounds. So, just made it so they're not so plain on the back of the um, photo mats. 
<laughs> Can't see to get it open. There we go. <laughs> Not in the right spot. <laughs> um, so this is another pocket area here. Holds lots of photos here. I printed some of the background, the photo mats on the background of the papers, some of the papers that I had left. Um, that goes there. Those are all held together with magnets. Same with this side. Um, this she, We put the chipboard pieces on it and then fussy cut the paper and then fussy cut the um, the template, the page template, um, and then cut photo or uh, copied the patchwork onto the back of all the paper. This is another pocket here, coffee dye paper. This is from her black and white backgrounds. Um, this is a shades of color that I printed onto the uh, photo mat. And then this is a printable from the Cricut and I left them open so that you could just, you know, slide your photo when you're ready to slide your photo in. You can put that in there. These are uh, held down with magnets. So you have a lot of room, more real estate for your photos. And that gets held on by magnets so when your page goes up nothing nothing falls off of it. Then here's another one. Let's see, I'm going to have to do this a little because uh, this opens up the other way. So this is uh, the same paper that I did the print and cut. I just used a little um, circle tag that they had and I put some whole reinforcers. Um, used some sari silk on there. This is um, part of her vintage uh, pastels. And I cut this with the Cricut. I cut this flower with the Cricut. And this is some washi tape that my friend Adrian sent me. Um, this is one of the uh, My Mind's Eye, the Gingham Gardens uh, paper. So I just used one of the little cutoff pieces and put on the tag there. Uh, put a, Cut a little piece of a doily off under there. And then this is all glued down on the side because it makes like a tuck spot. Then I have one of the Tim Holtz uh, clips holding this down. So that just hold, holds that together like that. And then when you clip it back in, you just clip it on the side. And that just tucks right up under there. So this is held down with a magnet that holds all this closed. And it just has, I'll show you this real quick. It just has a 4 by 6 photo mat on the back of it. So let me pull you up as high as we can go here. So this is um, a 4 by 6 photo mat and then I just cut the blue floral paper to go down on side and on the back side of it it just has a 4 by 6 photo mat, mat on that as well. Um, this is a journaling card. This I cut did as a print and cut on my Cricut. So I just cut a little circle um, tag, another circle tag, with, or I just cut out a s circle and then use my um, hole reinforcers on the top to make a little tag out of that. And I put the sari silk in there and then I just use my um, close to my heart uh, stapler, put that on there. And then this was left over from this piece. So I just put it on there and cut around it and just only adhered the top part of it so it uh, is like a little tuck spot. This was the cutout from the uh, coffee dye paper that I did a print and cut out of. This is the oval um, that it cut out with. That's just one of the photo mats. And so now when I put this in there, I just tuck it right down on that and it holds it in. <coughs> Excuse me. So, put you up on this for a bit here, so you can at least see it. Just 
smashed all that stuff. <laughs> there we go. Set that up there so you can see this bottom part, and then I'll move it back down. Um, so this just is some of the background paper, and uh, made a little pocket out of it that just glued on three sides. These are some of the journaling cards. And this was a little tag that I had made up um, with Genevieve's backgrounds. Uh, and then I had some paper here that had little bees on it, so I fussy cut out the bees. Put that on there. Let's see, I'll move this down right here, and that should work. So this just is one of the photo mats from the um, uh, basically amazing photo mats that she has. And then this here, move this up just a little bit more. Okay, so this here um, printed the uh, backgrounds that she has, and I did it in a grayscale so it wasn't so harsh. And then this is one of the journaling cards and another one of her little envelopes, just like the ones we did before. This is just littler, makes it cute. So we got that. Uh, this is a um, stamp that I had, so I just fussy cut around it. I cut out another bee from that paper, and this is the other part from that um, the scallop circle. So I had lots of pieces of it to use, so that worked out good. And then, move it back down here again. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so this is another. Um, same with this, we just carried it over up there. More journaling cards, a photo mat. Um, this is a photo mat that's just sitting in there. I, I should have made my slit so that it would fit the 4x6, but I didn't do it, so I just put the 4x6 up there. And I use these to, um, to hold it all in place. Uh, another one of those uh, circles, the scallop circles that I did a print and cut with, and some words that I had, more of the planner stickers, and then this was the little chipboard B. This is a pocket again, so you can put all your stuff in here. Here's a 5x7 photo mat. I didn't adhere this down or this, so you can just slide your photo up underneath, and then this down because I'm bending that all up. <laughs> okay, so this here has photo mats on it. Um, I did more print and cut stuff here. This was that stamp, but I just cut off the ends of it um, so that you could put the date or whatever you wanted to put on it. These scallop circles I cut out with my Cricut, printed with the um, Genevieve's background designs and put two of the three by four photo mats on there. So that's the way that goes. That's a lot, but the magnet holds it up. <laughs> you can tell it doesn't uh, come loose. So, that, whoops, get you back in frame here. Um, the, ma the magnets do good at holding it up. It uh, holds it all together. It doesn't flop back and forth. Put you in the middle on this one. So here is um, two of her, well, these are photo mats. These little guys will fit like on the front here where there's not much room. So she's thought of everything so that you can uh, have, a, have a place for everything. And uh, just fussy cut some of the flowers out of the background paper. And then... Um, Put that in there. This one I adhered completely down. But this is the two photo mats together and we just folded it in half like a little booklet after printing the um, vintage script on the background. Um, that fits in these doors here that holds the double doors closed. So when you open them up, 
these are tags I made out of her vintage um, pastel backgrounds and uh, added some of the little uh, paper that I had uh, printed over for something else with the shades of color on it. More areas for more photo mats and you can certainly get more in there. This is another um, envelope, uh, coffee dyed, and some note paper in there and it's held together with a magnet so that when you have it in here you'll hear it click when it goes down so that won't flop around and then uh, did another pocket thing in here so you could add different um, different things to that and we'll probably put some more I wasn't sure if my daughter would want to put photos down here or what so I kind of left that blank and then this goes back in here, holds that all down. This opens up, it's all magnetized. This has a spot that holds a photo in here. Um, these are just held together under there so that you can uh, slip your photos under. I wasn't sure if she would wanna just put her photos or if she wanted the photo mats. This is a little envelope with some inserts that you could journal on. And that tucks back nice in there. Some coffee dye paper. Um, this is another two page spread here with her buff buffalo check background on it is what I've used on all of them. Another little pocket and tons of photo mats that I just put backed onto the some of the paper that was left. Another pocket for lots of things, more photo area here. And um, this I just purchased, she had a sale, so I purchased her six by nine envelope um, templates. And in the, um, this one was the doily. I printed it with the plane and then used the doily background on it. So I really like that. And she had a big sale, so I bought all of her backgrounds. More photo mats. This made a pocket this way. This made a pocket this way. So you have lots of room for um, more stuff in there. And that is it. So thanks for watching. And... Um, Again, it's Michelle from Michelle Zink at Stamp It. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, here's some videos over here that you might enjoy too. All right, we'll talk to you later.